Hello, welcome back to a new video. I'm back at it again with testing more products. This time they are home products, home gadgets, home decor. The main questions are, do they work? Are they practical? All of these products I found are quite fascinating and I'm so excited to test them out. The first product is an electric can opener. Yes, you heard me right. This is perfect for anyone who has weak hands, have arthritis, or anything like that. Opening those cans with those damn openers are not always easy. And also, I really like the color, by the way. It comes in different colors. This one is battery operated. I needed to put four double A batteries in it. It's really easy to use. You have to place it in the right position on the can. So make sure you follow the instructions for that. Once you do that, you just press the button and let it do its thing. And the great part about this is it stops automatically when it's done. Not gonna lie, the first time I tried this, as soon as I pressed that button and it just started, I was so startled. You can tell by my hands. I was scared for my life. <laughs> and it works. I highly recommend it. I really like this. I'm looking forward to making my life easier with this. The next product is, I would call it a two-in-one toilet brush cleaner. So it comes with a toilet brush holder and you can remove the bottom to drain out excess liquid. Basically what I mean by two-in-one is that this can store your toilet cleaner and all you do is just press on it and the liquid comes out as you are cleaning. I thought that was such a genius idea and I really wanted to try it out. You're killing two birds with one stone. It's really easy to assemble. You just attach all three of the pieces to the brush. The bristles are made of silicone. The first time I tried this, I had to press on it quite a few times before the liquid starts coming out. It comes out slowly. I'm not gonna lie, I was getting a little impatient because I thought nothing was coming out, but you just gotta be really patient with it. I'm sorry, but if you're not flushing with the toilet lid down, you are doing it wrong. Every time you flush, those particles fly everywhere, especially it can even go on your toothbrush. So you're basically brushing with poop particles in your teeth and that is disgusting. Okay, I ended up using two thirds of the cleaner just because I got impatient and I ended up squeezing way too much of it. I do really like the concept of this, but I think the product that I specifically bought was not the best just because I wish there was a way where the liquid can come out faster. So I will definitely be looking into other brands that sell something similar. The next product is probably the coolest one in this video. Actually, it's the coolest product I ever bought. It's a levitating moon lamp. Oh, it's so dope. The base matches my table. I don't know what the moon is made out of, but it is absolutely stunning. Without any lights, it looks like a galaxy. I'm not exactly sure how it's able to levitate. It's something to do with magnetics for sure. It was a struggle trying to get this to levitate. It took a little over 30 minutes just to get it to levitate. But once I did it, I got the hang of it. Unfortunately, you do need to have this plugged in for it to spin indefinitely like that. If you unplug it, the moon will fall down. It also came with a controller and you can control the lights. It has many different colors. It also has different modes. This just looks so cool on any surface that you place it on. Your nightstand, your desk, your side table next to your couch, and it's practical. The price point for this is not cute. It was 80 bucks, but best 80 bucks I've ever spent on because this is just so cool. Look how dope it looks at night with all the lights off. It definitely sets a cozy vibe and it's just so mesmerizing to look at. The next product is called a microwave popcorn 
popper. Basically, all you need to do is add popcorn kernels into this glass bowl. Put that in the microwave and you're gonna have a ready-to-go popcorn and you can just eat it straight out of the bowl. This comes in many different colors. I picked the gorgeous Tiffany blue color. The lid is actually a measuring cup for the kernels. You only want to add enough kernels to fill the line and then you pour it into the bowl. You can also flavor the popcorn by adding butter. Just put it right on top and put it in the microwave and then you can have buttered popcorn. Definitely pay attention to the instruction booklet because they give you a lot of important tips such as do not use the popcorn mode on your microwave. They stated that not all microwaves are the same so you have to play around with the timing. They recommended between 2 minutes and 30 seconds to 3 minutes. You definitely want to keep an eye on it just in case something happens, you never know. I microwaved it for 2 minutes and 30 seconds and I noticed that not all of the kernels popped, which is okay, a majority of it did. That's why I just gotta play around with the timing. Overall, I really like the convenience of this and also it looks cute as well. An added bonus to that. The next product is something that I've seen all over the internet and I always wanted to try it. It's a fruit and vegetable sanitizing cleaning device. This was really random. They also gave me a brush and I think this is some type of skin peeling tool, uh, which I really appreciate, so thank you. The first thing that they recommended is for you to charge it first before you use it and it comes with a wireless USB charging dock. So how this works is you put your vegetables or fruits in a bowl, add water to it, and then you add salt to the water. They recommended you to add 1 8th of a teaspoon of salt, but I'm kind of lazy so I just eyeballed it, which I think is fine. The chemical process of the salt and water, which is called electrolysis, creates high Hypochlorous acid. It's a cleaning agent and that is supposed to disinfect your fruits or vegetables and that's how this device works. It's a natural cleaning agent and when it's done, it stops automatically and that's when you can take it out. To be honest, I couldn't really tell if it was working or not or if it's just a placebo effect. I mean, I noticed some particles in the water so I think it works. I mean, I'm all down for cleaning your vegetables and fruits before you cook and eat them because some of that stuff is nasty, especially with the pesticides and possibly bugs. Rinsing with water will do nothing about those. In a way, it does make me feel better than if I were not to use this. The next product is super cute. It's an egg yolk separator in the shape of a chicken. This is made out of ceramic and it's dishwasher safe. So the idea is you crack an egg into the cup and the yolk stays in the cup and you just pour it and the egg whites come out so it looks like it's puking out the egg whites. <laughs> uh, sorry for the imagery. This works great as long as the yolk doesn't break when you crack the egg. Unfortunately, the first time that I tried this, the egg yolk did break for me. I'm not sure exactly the best way to prevent that from happening. I was kind of pouring it out out aggressively which you probably shouldn't do that you should be careful with that overall I really like this it looks cute on your kitchen counter as well and I like its functionality The next product is a brilliant one and it's perfect for me and it's perfect for anyone who cannot flip anything. Cannot flip eggs, pancakes, whatever. This is a two-in-one tong spatula. It's not a regular spatula, y'all. Sometimes I'm lucky and I'll surprise myself when I'm able to flip an egg with a spatula. Most of the times, it's a struggle. This was my first time trying this out, so cut me some slack. I know that the egg is not in the best shape to try this on. Uh, it just somehow cooked in that shape, but but it definitely works and it makes it easier to flip the egg and I really like this. I am so glad this is a thing. 
the next product is also another genius invention. This is a clip-on strainer. By the way, I really like this color. It comes in multiple colors. All you do is just make your usual pasta, noodles, whatever you got going on in boiling water. You clip this onto the pot and you drain it. You don't even need to get an extra strainer. I really like the convenience of this and also because it's small, it's easier to wash and easier to store as well. The next product is something that I also have seen all over the internet and it's really cool. These are toilet gels and they claim to remove stains and also act as an air freshener. So here's what each color is supposed to smell like. These look like thick giant syringes. So it looks like you'll be able to get many uses out of these. The top part is detachable and you use that to push out the gel onto your toilet and it comes out in a shape of a flower and they look really pretty. <gasps> You definitely do not need to add as many as I did. I was just having fun showing you all what each color would look like. Also, not all sizes of the flowers are the same. They definitely smell really nice. It's very light. I recommend you thoroughly clean your toilet with an actual brush and bleach before you use these, just so that you'll have a clean surface to work on. I like that you can just use these and not have to think about it and you just go do your bathroom business and it smells nice and you're cleaning your toilet at the same time. The next product is super adorable. This is a fridge deodorizer in the shape of a baby chick. This is great because sometimes our fridges can just stank and it's just nice not having to smell like sh all the time. So inside are these deodorizing beads. I'm not sure what they're made out of. It also came with a piece that's cut out so that it can deodorize the air. You just take out the original piece on top and attach it on. This is such a fun way to keep your fridge from smelling bad and every time you open the fridge you get to look at this cute baby chick. I have no complaints to that. For the last final product, I wanted to show you this stunning piece. This is a vase, but it's in the shape of a book. I saw this on TikTok and I was like, immediately add it to cart. Give me that now. Personally, I used fake flowers because I just know that I will not be responsible enough to take care of real flowers. By the way, I got this off of Amazon and in the listing pictures, they used tulips and I thought that looked really pretty so I decided to add tulips in mine. Well that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun testing out all these products. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!